Well, friends, I just saw The Lighthouse today, and I watched it on Prime. But, is this recent hit from A24 good as... have some good aspects, like some critics say? Or is this just too dim as the color it is shown in black and white? Find out in my review of The Lighthouse right now. Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to y'all as the Big D, with a special review. This time around, I bring to you the recent hit psychological horror film known as The Lighthouse from, from last year. Directed and produced by Robert Eggers, released by A24, along with Regency Enterprises. Yes, as in the Regency that mostly had been working with Fox, but this is that, well, the only other studio they've collaborated recently, aside from Columbia, since they worked on the Little Women remake after this came out. Anyway, now, of course, Eggers is, of course, best known for directing another A24 flick, and that was The Witch. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to see that, though. But anyway, the film was shot in black and white with a 1.19 of... Excuse me, everyone. Well, the two dots, I forgot what that thing's called. Um, colon, that's it. One aspect ratio to make it look like an actual pan scam movie. Uh, or something like that. Film stars Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson as two lighthouse keepers who start to lose their sanity when a storm strands them on the remote island where they are stationed. Now, I'm going to try not to give too much of this movie away, so there. So I'm not going to try to give the whole movie away, because this is a recent movie, and what have you. This takes place in 1890, the late 19th century. It's about... The, we start by seeing Ephraim Winslow, that's Robert Panson. He serves a contract job as a wiki for four weeks on an isolated island off the coast of New England under the supervision of an ir irritable elderly man named Thomas Wake. That is Willem Dafoe's character. Well, on the first day, Winslow notices a hole in his cot, finding a small scrimshaw of a mermaid within it and stuffing it in his jacket. Well... Apparently, Winslow begins experiencing visions and dreams of giant tentacles in the lighthouse. And stuff like that. And distant images of a mermaid and stuff like that. Over the course of his stay, Wake demands Winslow take more taxing jobs, including refueling the light, carrying heavy kerosene containers, and disposing of the two men's chamber pots. <laughs> Well, he repeatedly encounters an aggressive one-eyed gull. And, he, and Wake warns him that it is bad luck to kill a gull. As he's superstitious that they are reincarnated sailors. Well, Winslow, as the weeks go by, he continues to jerk off to... The scrimshaw while and continues to see Wake in the buff. So, apparently, one night at dinner, they get to know each other and discuss Wake's previous wiki, whom he says he died shortly after losing his sanity. Well, oh boy, soon, soon more stuff occurs. Winslow gets attacked by the one-eyed seagull and eventually beats it to death. And soon the winds change the direction and a storm hits the island at night. Uh, 
and then finds a mermaid that is the body of a mermaid that gets washed on the shore. Oh. So, and Wake, once he gets spooked and rushes back in, Wake informs him that their rations were spoiled by the storm. So, they dig up a crate that is supposed to contain extra rations, but finally more alcohol. And as the days pass, the storm continues, they grow more closer while remain advers adversarial. Yeah. Winslow continues to have visions of a lobster trap containing the severed half blinded head of Wake's previous wiki. But anyway, they soon start having more alcohol, getting drunk and what have you, and Wake accuses Howard of spilling his beans. And Howard tries to leave on a dory, but Wake destroys it. And, well, no, that's so like that. And with no more alcohol, they begin mixing spirits out of turpentine and honey and stuff like that. But soon, something really big occurs. But, like I said, I'm really not going to try to give the whole movie away. So, I'm not really going to give the whole movie away. The ending to this movie, I'm going to say, is pretty shocking in a, in, a, in a little bit of ways. But, anyway. But, like I said, I'm not going to give the ending away. It's, like I said, the... It's... You're going to be surprised to know what... What um happens, and also Winslow tells Wake that his real name's Thomas Howard, and you'll be surprised to know what he does to him right about the end. So, and eventually he Something really shocking happens, but like I said, see the movie, okay? I'm not going to give all the this any away because it's just for you to decide to watch. So this is a sure go ahead recommendation to watch. While the movie was kind of odd in some ways, but I do appreciate some of the things that the critics do say and what have you. I mean, the cinematography and production design was good, and um, Mr. Edgar's screenplay and direction was good, and of course, the performances of Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. They were all real good. Uh, so, again, go ahead. Uh, check it out. But anyway, the film is just now premiered on, on Prime for free today, so you can Stream that if you're stuck at home and you want to see a shocking horror flick with a psychological feel to it. And of course, you can check it out on DVD, and I think it's on Blu-ray. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say about The Lighthouse. Check it out if you'd like, if you already haven't. But anyway, what did you think of The Lighthouse? Please feel free to tell me in the comments section. Like and subscribe to my channel as well and be a part of the Big D Nation. Now I'm, and I'm also happy to say I'm now up to 193 subscribers. That's great, but I still need seven more. Tell your friends about my channel if you want to see rankings and reviews on movies, music, TV, video games, etc. Tell them about... Just tell your friends about Big D's entertainment rankings and reviews. Uh, I think you'll have a good time with the Big D if you come check me out. And hopefully I can get to 200. We're only two weeks left in April. I hope to make the 200 by then. Can I still make it? Let's hope for the best. But anyway, thank you again for watching. Now, if you liked what you saw, you can check out some of my reviews of some... Some shockingly good horror, in my view, or some with 
intenseness in my opinion. I'll leave two of them. In the upper left-hand corner would be my review of The Exorcist that I did last month in, in Mary of Max von Theo, who we sadly lost, and which is definitely a shocking horror thriller. And in the upper right-hand corner is my review of of Hobo with a Shotgun with Rutger Hauer. In the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe to my channel. Thank you again for watching. And until next time, I'm the Big D saying see ya.